Hello everybody, this is Kurt Zepatello from AstroQuest 1. I'm going to show you how to take flats using Astrophotography Tool for Idiots. And here we go. First off, I connected the camera and I connected my filter wheel. And it's on, I'm going to position it to the luminosity filter. I want to do that one first. And I go over to Tools and I press CCD Flats Aid and I've got my target EDU already set at 12,000 other people choose different values you can read up about it to see what your optimal one is but I do 12 I've had good luck with it I'm gonna leave the ADU percentage range to 5% Actually, I'm gonna raise it up to about 7% so if it gets within 7% it'll take the flats uh, I keep the exposure to our starting exposure to 1, minimum exposure 0.02, maximum at 9. And I'm going to change the position of the filter to make sure it's my luminosity, which happens to be 1. And I'm going to have it create a, f a, a flats plan. Not only I'd have it make 20 flats, but I, I just wanted to do a, a small number for this video. And I just press 1. Exposure started. Or, or press 1. And there it goes it's cr it's creating uh, a range if it gets within seven percent of the target range it's done exposure started exposure finished exposure started All right. exposure finished it's exposure getting close started. I'm looking down here to the where the tolerance is. Exposure started. Exposure finished. Exposure started. Exposure finished. All right. Exposure started. Exposure finished. I think we're closing in on it. Okay, usually it goes quicker than that, but it did it. I pressed yes, and now I'm going to have it um, come over to camera, and there it is. It created a, an exposure with the optimal range, and all I have to do is press start, and there it goes. It, it's taking my flats for the luminosity. Exposure started. Exposure finished. Okay. Right, that's it. That's pretty simple. Zip, zip, zip. All I have to do to do another one, if I want to do a different uh, filter, is if I went to filter 2. The filter 2 happens to be my red. I can create a series of red flats doing the same method as I just got done doing. Um, I did my flats this time with a t-shirt over the scope, like most of you probably do. But I did it during the daytime, and it's a cloudy day, so it's a good time to do that. So I just... Uh, I'm outside right now. It's very cold out, but uh, uh, I wanted to try it in during the daytime because I saw Chuck from Chuck's Astrophotography do it th during the daytime, and he had some really good results. I'll put a link to his um, his video on there, so because he actually showed you how he did it during the daytime. So I'll put that one on there as well. Anyways, thank you very much. Hope this helps. See you later. Mm -hmm.